how do I get what I do with testimonials? Put it on your Instagram, put it on your social media, and then connect it to the physical world by putting a QR code in your office. You have a great testimonial, put it in your office. Email your patient database, text your patient database. At the end of the email or the text, say, we're taking appointments for this month. Just reply back. We'll schedule it, right? So it just depends how you are going to position this. We're taking appointments this month. Reply back to this text. I guarantee you, you text a good handful of patients, few of those people will reply back requesting an appointment. Remember what I said? Most, like, most of the low-hanging fruit is just you being in front of them. It's not hard. It's you having a reason to be in front of them. People buy what's in front of them. So it's like, oh, I showed up there. Oh, now they have, oh, my dentist just texted me. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Um, and all you do is you just reply back and they get an appointment through you. That's it. Some of you will get low-hanging fruit patients that way because you just showed up in their text, in your in their text, or you showed up in their email. So you all should be using that strategy, and you all should be using this QR code strategy as well, because this is an easy one to use. Because now you're like, oh, I got this QR code on any of my videos. If it's a hygiene room, I'm gonna put the QR code. Here's a hygiene video. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna hit share, and I'm gonna grab the QR code, and I'm gonna put that QR code right in my hygiene room. They go to my page. If you have an offer, you have a bundle, you have a special you're doing, that's another thing you can do. QR code it into the hygiene room, right? And what are patients doing while they're sitting there? Oh, they'll scan your QR code, right? So think of that strategy. That's one thing. The other way to use a video testimonial, which you all should be doing, is as soon as a patient walks into your office, they are in what? As soon as the patient walks in your office, they are in your universe. They are in your universe. They're in your ecosystem. So what happens? You got to influence the narrative. So as soon as the patient walks in, they're in your universe, right? Any Coldplay fans here? Any Coldplay fans? That one Coldplay jam? Universe. <laughs> so they're in your universe as soon as the patient walks in. And many of you are missing out on the opportunity to pre-warm them through patient video testimonials that are just on replay. Maybe you have five minutes of those. Some of you saw I showed Dr. Andrea Smith's videos, where it was like three minutes, we put a little music to it, and it was just patients raving about how the implant overdenture changed their life. All she does, she posts that right on to Instagram, I mean, right onto her office screen, front office or in the back office. And that thing just plays, just plays. So now what's happening? Pre-warm is a gentle way of saying brainwash, right? So we're trying to brainwash them for a good reason to help them, right? To gain some confidence in your ability, in your business, in your practice. So each of you should have video testimonials that are stitched together, like five minutes of them, just playing, just playing in a loop, just playing in one loop in your office. Boom, boom. They just loop back. They're just video that's just playing in your office. That's it. Each of you should have that. You got this video and it's just playing and it's just looping through. It's like five minutes. It just keeps going, right? Your staff will be like, I'm sick of seeing you. <laughs> that's it. You all should have that because now it, Warms the patients up, right? Any So that's another way to use your video testimonials. And that, Rona, is something you could do right away and just put it on all the screens. It's like, oh, it's on all the screens. Because with any of the stuff that you see, your goal as a marketer, right? Because you're here, not just as a dentist. You're here as an owner. And you're here to also you know, realize that I need to kind of adopt the identity of being a marketer. And as a marketer, part of your role is just saying, how do I take all the good stuff that's happening in my office? How do I take all the good stuff and have more people know about it? Like that question alone is very expansive. How do I take the good stuff, 
let more people know about it. Every great marketer understands that is part of their role. Taking that good stuff, having everybody else know about it. Because that's how you really get more people into your world, right? And sometimes we get quiet as clinicians. Something great happens, even if we replace the buccal composite, you just underestimate it. Even if you did one quadrant, you went from mercury to porcelain, you're like underestimate because you do it all the time. So what I'm suggesting to you is get a few before and afters of that mercury to porcelain. Get a few videos of that. Like patients talking about that. Now you have those as assets. Now you can roll those into your database of assets that are constantly working for you. You can have those on replay in your front office. You can email those to patients. You can text those to patients. It's you just taking the good stuff and getting it out there. You're taking good. This is, this is key. And many of you sometimes underestimate yourself because you're doing it and you've been doing good stuff for so long, so long and you're like, oh, got to take the good stuff and get it out there. Every great marketer, that's what they're doing. Boom. Every great market, every great media presence is doing this. But sometimes as dentists, we get myopic because we're so embedded in the craft or the art of what we do, we forget to do this thing. Okay? So, Rona, I gave you some strategies and tactics right there. And then I'm also going to say another thing because I know, Rona, you run Facebook and online Instagram ads. You could use that video testimonial to run ads, right? You can turn that into an ad for that specific treatment and go from there. This is why I always say, if you're gonna get video testimonials or transformation videos, it's always good to have a topic area rather than saying, I loved coming to this office. This office is wonderful. It's very, it's promoting your office and those people out there, they don't care. What those people care about, your potential patients, is seeing the transformation that patient had feeling that shift and thinking, oh, I need a lower denture too. I need my upper teeth fixed. Or gosh, I have those stains on my teeth. They've been there ever since I was a kid. They want to see that. So when you get these transformation videos, make sure like as a orchestrator, as a director here, make sure that they are, they have a theme. They're not just like, we love coming to your office. The, we love coming to your office video is not bad, but really when I showed you Andrea's video, there was a theme, right? Like she had a theme to her videos, right? Patients were talking about like coming into the practice and talking about how, gosh, they came in and they loved like the transformations they got from her one piece implant overdentures, right? Those, they had a theme. And when you have a theme to some of these treatments that you're offering, like it's about that treatment, everything becomes easier. In fact, when we're, because we're on the topic of themes, things become easier anytime you identify something. So the smaller you get in your conversation or your focus or your topic area, the easier it becomes. When you're too broad or expansive, things are harder, right? If you, got, if you go into a room and you're trying to talk five different languages because there's five different the backgrounds of people there that only speak those languages, then things are gonna be harder. But if you knew you went into the room, you're like, everybody in this room speaks Japanese. And I know how to speak Japanese. I'm gonna talk to just the Japanese speakers here. So remember, that's how it is with marketing. When you speak to one person, one area, it's much easier to market to them, to have an impact, to get your message heard and resonated with than if you're speaking with everybody, right? They always say, go for everybody, get no one, right?